Yo, yo, YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the uh, Comic John YouTube channel. I, of course, am your host, John Hashinger, for this trailer reaction to Big George Foreman. George Foreman is one of the most interesting stories, and that's probably why they're making a movie about him. Let's go. George Foreman, the miraculous story of the once and future heavyweight champion of the world. Right, the once and future heavyweight champion. He he makes a comeback in his 40s. You've got a punch like I've never seen. <laughs> but in every battle, Forrest. the greatest foe that we will combat isn't here. Live one way your whole life. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. George should change his name from four man to poor man. <laughs> mm. What's my name now, fool? Foreman is the new heavyweight champion of the world. Where's all that rage coming from? Don't have any rage. And it becomes all you know. Let's thank God for the food, y'all. I bought the food, mama. Ooh. George Foreman ain't no new champ. He is the new chump. We gonna get it on because we don't get along. Oh, Ali. Foreman goes down. Uh. Who said that? You ain't said nothing, George. Your heart stopped. We thought he was dead. What? I was. Oh, is this why he. I'm done. I'm not going to box anymore. Do you know what you're walking away from, sir? I want to spread the word of God and what I saw. This guy. Is the preacher going for you? It's hard. Harder than getting punched in the face. Sometimes it feels about the same. Hey, fella, come on and enjoy yourself. Power company said we never paid the bill. Really? There's only two things I know how to do. That's box and preach. And preach you won't pay the bills. Mm. You made me something once, Doc. You can do it again. Yes. This is the comeback. It's my destiny to win the heavyweight championship belt again. Last time they saw me, I looked like Superman. So now you look like the Michelin man. This ain't no beauty contest. Uh -huh. Michael Moore, he's 26 and unstoppable. How yes. Foreman is considered an old man in this young man's game. It's now. Oh, it's never. Yes, yes, they have the shot. The story of the Mr. once Foreman, and future heavyweight. That funny little grill deal you signed is starting uh -huh. to generate some substantial checks. Really? Now I'm just surprised they chose a big old fat guy like me to sell a beer <laughs> to help people get lean. <laughs> Fun fact: they, the uh, the George Foreman grill people pitched it to Hogan, Hulk Hogan first and he said mm, that's stupid anyway my earliest memory so i got into boxing really early in life because mike tyson was world champ when i was like seven years old and the whole world knew who he was so i was a fan of boxing very early heavyweight boxing and when you know tyson lost to buster douglas i was like what is life it was like when hulk hogan lost to the ultimate warrior i just was uh, i was stunned that someone like that could lose and one of my first memories of george foreman is sometimes my dad would let me stay up late and watch the HBO boxing matches like Friday, Saturday night. And one night I remember, I don't remember who was boxing, but at the end of the, the match, they start to, they, there's a fight amongst like the, 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 the boxer and maybe the other guy's coaches. And then it spills into the crowd and people are throwing chairs. I mean, go to YouTube, look it up. George Foreman, no, put like boxing brawl, early 90s, George Foreman commentating because he's one of the commentators and I remember him you can hear him during this brawl that's spilling out into the crowd it's HBO so they're not cutting the cameras you can hear George Foreman saying don't do this let's not do this guys don't do this guys and you think maybe he's up in the high rise and he's looking down and saying it and then the camera cuts to him and he's literally holding back four guys in each arm he's literally got like 10 guys in his arm and he's holding them back as this bra and chairs are flying i mean it looked like it was like ecw um and i just remember listening to george foreman's voice and being like oh he just sounds like such a, a nice guy and my dad's like you know he was this great boxer and muhammad ali put him down and he uh i didn't know about him dying for five minutes and then coming back to life having a religious awakening and then 
the almighty dollar is uh, the almightiest. And so he does a, he, he made a comeback. And I remember I was alive for this. So Mike Tyson lost to Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas lost to uh, the guy that's in this movie, Moore. Nate Moore? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. I know they said his name in the movie. And so he beat Buster Douglas. He's the world champ. George Foreman fights him. It's like a, it looked like watching a boxing match underwater. Because this, the, the champ, this young kid just couldn't get him. And Foreman at one point just popped him and he just dropped. Is it Michael Moore? I can't remember. But anyway, I remember the camera zooming in on Moore's face. You know, like he's at ring, he's like, uh, at, uh, he's down on the mat and the, the camera at ringside zooms in on his face and his eyes were shut. And when the ref got to like eight, nine, his eyes opened. So George like knocked him out clean. And it, at 45 years old, like he hadn't boxed in like 10, 20 years. And I remember as soon as the ref says 10, they shoot over to George Foreman and they showed that shot in the trailer where he's holding the turnbuckles and he just looks, he does one of these. And you knew he was, it, it was pretty amazing to watch it. And the fact that they even put this in the trailer so we know we're going to get that story in the movie is just awesome. Um, is George Foreman on the Mount Rushmore boxing? I don't know. Boxing purists, I know you're going to love this or you're going to be interested in this movie. So let me know what I should be on the lookout for, what inaccuracies might be coming. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week. I gotta go.